Hi, my name is Taiga. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is to share with you guys my anime girl makeup. It really makes your eyes large and cute like an anime character. So if you want to achieve this look, please just continue watch with me. And I want to share with you guys this before after look right here so you can see the difference. For makeup base, I'm using this lavender one from the face shop. I tend to use the purple makeup base for most of my cosplay makeup because they do a better job brightening up your skin. Next, I'm going to move on to the concealer. Today, I'm using the stick concealer from Kill Cover. So I usually use a brush to evenly spread them out and only apply a very thin layer once at a time. If you feel like the coverage is not enough, you can always try throwing on another layer. Next, I'm going with the foundation from Makeup Forever. I really love the Ultra HD foundation from this brand because they have so many shades to choose from and they just melt into your skin right away. Remember to wet your sponge a little before applying. For the setting powder, I'm using the Marshmallow Face Powder from the Japanese brand Kimake. This is my very first face powder ever. Uh, when I just started to learn makeup, and it's still one of my favorite. Next, I'm going to contour my face. Anime girls usually have cute chubby round face, so the amount of the contour has to be carefully controlled. Set the starting point at your nose bridge, and then lightly sweep them into your eyeshadow, while your eyeshadow later. This technique will not make your face look too long, and bring more cuteness into it. So you can see here that I don't really put too much contour under my eyebrow as usual because that will for sure enlonger your face. Next, put some highlight over the forehead. And don't forget about the nose bridge. Next, put some highlight under your eyes by the cheek. This will make your face look more glowed. For eyebrow, I'm using this eyebrow pencil from Sana. So to look like an anime girl, depends on the scenario, you probably have to change your eyebrow shape a lot. Today I'm drawing this one with a brown color, medium thickness, and just a little bit of arch. Next, I'm using one of my favorite eye palettes from Too Faced. First, pick the beige or white base color using a wider brush to sweep over the entire eye area. Next, use a matte brown to cover over the eyelid. Use the same brown to draw over the under eye line too. Now, pick up a little bit more brown and deepen your eye corner. Next, I'm gonna go with a double eyelid tape. I'm already having double eyelids, but I'm using this to make them look wider. So I first decide where I put them, which is usually 2mm above my own eyelids. And then I use a tool that comes with it to push it up. Next, I'm using this palette, which is my new favorite from Huda Beauty. I'm using a pinkish brown first to cover the eyelid tips I just put on, and also half of the eye area. When this step is done, you can actually see what a difference does it make already. That my eyes are so much bigger, even though without the uh, eyeliner and the eyelashes. Next, use a medium brown and a smaller brush, and just draw over the corner. See here that I don't really drag the eyeshadows up uh, because that way you will look more aggressive. Try drag them down a little bit to look more innocent. Next, use the same brown to smudge along the lower eye line. Now I'm using a light pink to even out all the brown eyeshadows. Yeah. 
Next, pick a shimmering brown to apply over the eyes. Next, use a line brush to pick up some dark color to drag a little bit over the eyes. Use the same dark brown to draw along the lower eye line too. So you can see here that I haven't really done my eye line and my eyelashes yet, but my eyes are already really big. Next, use a pink glitter to tap a little bit on the center of the eyes. Now I'm using this pink glitter pen from Dolly Wink to add some highlight under my eyes. Use a brown color from the palette to create the shadow crease. And now we're finally finished with the eyeshadow part. Next, I'm moving on to the eyeline using the black liquid eyeliner from Dolly Wink. The eyeliner doesn't have to be thick because we're gonna put on the false eyelashes later. Slowly drag a longer line. This line is going to blend in with the false eyelashes. And do the same for the other side. This is the eyelashes I've been using for this makeup. After applying the eyelashes glue, find the eyeline that you just drew and put on the false eyelashes into position. You can adjust it while the glue is still not dried. Don't worry about getting them right at the first time. It takes a lot of practice to put them on with confidence. Feel free to pull them up and reapply them if you're not happy with the result. Here, I'm putting on my lower eyelashes, but somehow the camera just decided to not focus on me. For blush, I'm using the Baked Blush in Pink color from Milani. I really like this product because it already has some highlight in it, and it's so pretty after you put it on. For the anime girl look, I usually put on some blush over the tip of my nose. Now we're moving on to the highlight. I'm using the highlight powder from Estate. I received this as a sample and it's actually surprisingly good. It's super shiny and better than some of the products that are way more expensive. For the lip, I'm going to use this one from Revlon as a base. This is a very orange color which is why I use it to look more cute. Next, I'm going to add a layer of lip gloss using this one from YSL. And this color is number 8, also a cute orange shade. And now I just put on the wig and this look is finally finished. And that's it for today's video, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe my channel. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye. Why is it so hard to talk to the camera?